Good evening, this is Old Fish Room, and this is what my tanks look like at night. Now, I, you may not enjoy this as much as I do, but uh, many nights I come in here when I can't sleep and uh, stare at my fish, and uh, basically I have... Uh, well, I have submersible uh, light strips in all my tanks. Uh, I like it because uh, even though I have like 13 tanks, I have them all with a very similar light uh, control button, or uh, remote control. And so I can just walk into the room and start pushing the button <laughs> and uh, change in the morning the lights to white or in the evening I change them to blue and uh, this is this looks a lot different this is the tank the 15 on the bottom of the floor here <laughs> well it's, on a, it's not really at the floor it's a, on a rack but uh, anyway the point is that uh, I just cleaned this yesterday and took the uh, angelfish out and put them in the 75. I noticed I was having a serious uh, trumpet snail explosion going on in here that I had not noticed before and uh, I pulled a piece of wood out that I was wanting to take out uh, put somewhere else and noticed it was absolutely covered in trumpet snails so I kind of went crazy and uh, decided to put the even if temporary but they may be staying in there now but I put the uh, white angelfish platinum I think they're called uh, I'm trying to catch these squirrely coolie loaches there they are um, put the white angelfish in the 75 thinking it was just going to be temporary until I got this cleaned out but uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves in there so I may be leaving them anyway I uh, took out every piece of wood in here, scrubbed the pudding out of it <laughs> in the uh, kitchen sink with a strainer and then uh, threw the strainer or dumped the strainer in the uh, trash hoping to get rid of most of the uh, snails. Now, I'm sure there's still, I see one right now that I'm going to have to take care of. But uh, anyway, I... Uh, I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm, I've cleaned, scrubbed it out real good. I uh, moved the sand around, re, uh, rearranged everything because I did take everything out. And uh, I'm enjoying this. I may, uh, it does have five uh, coolie loaches that are going crazy in there tonight. Uh, well, this morning, actually, it's 3 a.m. Uh, anyway. But I'm enjoying this. I think it's very pretty. Uh, I'm happy I was able to have another place to put the uh, fish. And uh, I'm going to leave this alone, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm putting anything else more in here or not. Or may just keep it for a reserve tank. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway. I'm going to go up here to the uh, 20, and this is what it looks like at night. Now, of course, you cannot see the fish very well. <laughs> they are in there, but uh, oh, there's one of the crazy, crazy coolie loaches. Uh, there's the black skirt, uh, long fin black skirt tetras. So they've got a lot of area in there they, where they can hide because it's dark. Uh, Anyway, I think it's pretty. I'm going to uh, swing over here to the left. Here's the uh, five that you've seen me talk about quite a bit. Uh, there's my, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm in a rolling chair here. Uh, there's my new boy. Uh, he's pretty. But anyway, I really enjoy the, the night lights in these. I think it's very pretty. I know, of course, you cannot see as well as you can during the day, but, uh, the daylights, I should say. 
I don't see the little red boy. He's well, he might be back. Well, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, I just uh, because as I said, you might not be enjoying this as much as I do. Uh, this is the left side of the uh, plane on. My old man is definitely probably sleeping in here now. Okay, we're going to move along here. Uh, this is the tin, what I call a normal tin. <laughs> uh, this is one of my bands. He's a pretty one with white with the blue stripes. That's what his side looks like. This is the other side. Where is he? He's right in front of us here. He's just kind of chilling. You probably know this already, but betas are a big one for resting on things and taking a little nap. Uh, okay, to the left we have one of my column tanks, which I really enjoy because they're 20 inches high and have a huge, about a 2 inch lid on them. I also put uh, black electrical tape all around the top so I don't have to have the uh, water right at the tippy top because I do not like to see the lights on the top of the water reflecting. I don't, uh... oh there he is, I was going to say I don't see my bed in here but there he is right there, the red and white little boy. There he is, isn't he pretty? Okay, let me back up and show you this whole tank. I think it's very pretty. I'm real happy with it. There's some shrimp swimming around. Here's a two and a half. Oh, there she is in the back there. There she is. When I filmed yesterday, I couldn't seem to find her. <laughs> there she is. She's a pretty little girl. And she seems happy. Okay, that's that tank. Let's move to the left is a whole row of these, uh, sorry, 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 there. Uh, I don't see my beta in here at the moment, but that's, that's okay. Uh, I'm just basically showing you, because you all know what these tanks look like. You know what the fish look like. I'm just showing you what it looks like at night. And I personally am happy with it. Uh, let me back up a little. There you go. Now, all four of these are the uh, column tanks. There he is. It amazes me how you can see so much color even at night. Boy, he's a beauty, I tell you. I was very fortunate to find him. He was just gorgeous. Like I've told you before, I... Well, I'm all full up in the beta hotel right at the moment. <laughs> so I don't have any more room, so I'm not going to look anymore. I don't want to tempt myself, but, uh, oh, wait, there, there he is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. There's a red, white, and blue boy. Okay, back over here, where, where did he go? He's right there. Okay, I'm almost finished here. I uh, don't. I don't see the beta in here right at the moment. Wait a minute, maybe he's. Well, I saw some movement there. Anyway, it is in the middle of the night. These guys are sleeping. Uh. And last, this guy is usually hard to find even in the daytime. So uh, after he's fed, I mean, he just disappears. He goes finds a little fucking panty somewhere and takes a little nap. Oh, there he is. Look at that. I'll be darned. We don't see him too much. There's frilly tail here. See, I don't swim very fast because my tail's so frilly. 
But that's okay. He doesn't have any competition in there. He's got Cooley Loaches that certainly don't compete for his food. They clean up after him. They stay at the bottom, and I've got a ton of uh, shrimpers. And that's about it. Okay, we are going to back up, kind of do a whole quick scan of the room. Boom. There we go. Okay. I'm back here. And ending with the 75. I've got a green light on this. Uh, the blue was just too dark in this tank. I couldn't see a darn thing. But it's a big tank and uh, not a big light. So, uh, anyway. It's darker on this side. I've actually moved. I used to have that light in the middle. And the cord was, anyway. It's easier for it to be over here. Uh, I don't think the fish mind. They can move to a dark area or a light area, whichever they prefer. You can see how dark this is over here. Now, I was going to try to show you the angels that I put in here, but I sure do not see them right now. Oh, there's a, you don't see him very often. We're, we're there, uh, the farewell or some people call him the whiptail cat. He's, he's about, uh, let's see, four, maybe five inches long, but boy, they're skinny. Anyway, like I said, I was trying to show you the angels, uh, but they seem to be a hole up somewhere else. I do not see them right now. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're going to close out. Thank you so much for watching Ogle's Fish Room. I do appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have a great new year. And okay, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.